Hey, ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today, we are joined by the one and only Nick from stridewise.com. Uh, he also has a channel on YouTube under the same name, Stridewise. Yeah. And uh, it's good to have you back again. Thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's always a treat to come to Columbia, Tennessee, the real yeah. America. Yeah, it is in the heartland. It's a lot better than the, the hellhole Manhattan that I, that I live <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, you need to get out of that place. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah. Nothing against all my people. New York viewers. But, <laughs> uh, but no, it's good to have you back. You've been on our channel a couple times. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. We've been on yours. You so. guys very graciously resold a pair of my Red Wings uh, many months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, it was yeah. great. We did that. We did uh, Best American Boots as well I did with you guys. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a real videos. treat being here. Yeah. Uh, I did actually came down here <laughs> with my extremely worn in uh, Cavalier Chelsea boots from Thursday because they are pretty worn in. They got pretty dirty. I mm -hmm. spent like three or four months walking around Europe in them and, um, you know, you helped to clean them, which was very nice. And yep. that's, that video, I think, is on my it's channel. It's on your now. channel. Yeah. Uh, so we cleaned these boots up. They're looking really good. But I am, I decided to join all the other guys out there who like their suede but really wish they didn't have to be uh, maniacal about yeah. keeping it clean. So you and I are going to be waxing. We're going to do a little waxing on it today. Wax suede, and, yeah. And I know a lot of my viewers have been asking for a while now, how do I care for my waxed suede boots? Well, you know, we haven't done a video on that before, so today's the day. And the answer to care for waxed boots is to re-wax them. Is that, is that Correct. about it? Yep. yep. Okay. And and you did a really great article on stridewise.com talking about this exact thing, step by step, how to wax them. Yeah, I definitely recommend folks go over there. We'll put the link to that video or that uh, that article as well. Yeah. But what are tell some of the guys what are the advantages of having a waxed suede boot? So suede is thinner than usual leather because it's when the hide has been like kind of split down the middle. Yep. So the fuzziness here you're seeing is uh, this bits of flesh basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is thinner. It's a bit more breathable as well than uh, other leathers as well as a result. Um, but it is, it's a little more delicate. Now that's a controversial thing to say because uh, it is actually pretty hard wearing. It doesn't scratch yeah. very easily. You know, there are a lot of It's a very durable. Like. Yeah, there are a lot of definitions of, uh, <laughs> of, of durability and hard wearing, but nonetheless, uh, it does tend to hold onto a bit of dirt when you, when yeah. you drop it onto it. Um, and also, uh, when you get water on suede as well, that can sometimes be tricky if you don't get it out very quickly yep. and so on. Again, there are different ways of looking at durability. I don't want to get too into it. But uh, to remedy a lot of those issues, a lot of guys like to wax their suede. There's no shortage of boots out there that come waxed already. And the reason for that is that, uh, for one, the wax creates like a nice uh, like impermeable barrier mm -hmm. around the suede that repels water and stains and, and yeah, that kind of stuff. Well. Yeah. Helps with salt stains as yeah. well a little bit. So yeah, it basically adds uh, a layer of protection to the suede. And also, in addition to that, what makes it a little bit more desirable for some folks and just like spraying it with like a nano protector is that it looks really cool as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Guys, it definitely gives a, def a different feel and texture and everything yeah. than, than just the, the suede on it gives side. it like some depth of character yeah. it gives it more like some color permutations and a lot of guys find that uh, especially as it ages it just gets more and more attractive yeah. you get more and more depth and more uh, what they call patina right yep. desirable effects of aging so basically you make your boots more durable and better looking yep. so it's kind of a no-brainer for a lot of guys to wax their suede most of uh thursday's suede by the way is like a weatherproof suede it's imbued with a bunch of waxes and hydrophobic stuff to repel stains already. But this is like uh, the regular snuff suede. It's totally yep. naked suede on its own. If you want to keep it that way, you can, but if you want coolness and stain resistance, wax that suede. Yeah. Which products are we using? So today, well, we did a video not too long ago where we showed how to use snow seal. Now snow seal is a, uh, a beeswax based a product. I know you, the reason I even brought it out is because in your article, you even mentioned snow seal as being one of the products you can use to wax your suede. Uh, but the one that you really spoke about and liked a lot of the products that you mentioned was the otter wax. Uh, yeah. That seemed to be the one that you really recommended and uh, we figured we would go with that today. Yeah, that's right. Snow seal <clears throat> also, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it's not just wax, right? There's like a, there's a few. Yeah, other it has some other here. ingredients as well. Yeah. Whereas auto wax, uh, if you want to use the word natural, people tend to consider it like a bit a bit more yeah. natural, right? This is like just straight up wax. Uh, no petroleum, no silicon. It's non toxic. Yeah. And it's, everything it's else very is really not, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So auto wax is kind <laughs> of a, a favorite. Um, also, auto wax they make like a, a nice uh, products for conditioning, leather jackets, and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Like it really is kind of like the go-to for people who want to uh, whether you want to like wax like a canvas jacket, which is also like, really yeah. popular, or to wax your wax your suede. Yeah. Um, so here we got the heavy-duty fabric wax. Now this is a bar. 
But uh, a lot of the times when you see people uh, waxing their products, they get like a tin of wax and they heat yeah. it up and make it all liquid and they kind and of- And they do have, like I, Auto Wax does have that as well. When I went yeah. to their website, they do have tins of it. So if you have jackets or whatever, that's really gonna take a lot then that might be a good route to go. Is well. that the reason why uh, we're using a bar instead of that? Just because like we don't need quite as much? Like are there benefits over using this over the stuff you have to melt? Like what happens? Uh, well, I mean, it, it does help to already have it melted. Uh, the reason we're using the bar, because we sell the bar. Um, <laughs> and it's readily available. I have it here. It's just what, it's what we use. Um, a lot of times, you know, we're just using little shoes, uh, you know, and, and you know, this is a small bar that we've, you know, we've been using for a while. It comes in bigger bars as well that we use. Uh, and generally I say for the, you know, when I'm doing a pair of boots or shoes, on average, I can go through about half a bar, maybe a quarter of a bar, half a bar for one pair. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it doesn't take a lot, but All right. you know. So when we're coming here to wax our boots, what, what do we need on hand? We have the boots, we have the bar of wax. Yeah, so there's a couple of ways of waxing your boots um, or shoes. Now, some, some boots and shoes already come from the factory waxed, and that, that cuts down on the, you know, half the time that you're gonna be re-waxing them because it already has absorbed a lot of wax. It's already ready to go. All you're needing to do is just simply take a bar of wax or whatever, and you're just, you know, rubbing over that boot again, that boot again, letting it melt in, and you're good to go. It does, you know, it's the pores are already filled in with the wax from the factory. It doesn't take you long at all. But for a boot like this, that has never had it done, it's going to take you a while. Um, and there's a couple of ways to do it. Now, this is definitely the slowest. It's not the route that I normally go. But you can simply, well, first of all, what you want to do is these shoes. I've already packed newspaper in here. You don't want to have it real loose down here. You can put shoe trees if they fit really well, but I pack paper in it just so it is nice and stiff because what you're gonna be doing is working this bar all over that and you don't want it just pushing down real easily. So the first method, just take the bar and you're simply rubbing it all over the boot and the friction will heat up the bar as you can see and it'll start working that wax You don't need, you need to heat it. up the bar first or do anything like Correct. that? Correct, so that's one method of doing it. Now, another way to do it is to use a heat source like a hairdryer or like heat gun, which like I have a, there. A hairdryer works just as well as this? If yeah, if you, you just want to be able to melt the wax. And yeah, if you, if you take a hairdryer and really heat up the leather or heat up the wax, um, just enough to get it to melt. Again, you're not trying to cause damage to the suede. You're just wanting to get enough you know, heat to where you can easily rub it in. It's, it's probably ideal for the, the average person to like uh, just apply the heat to the, to the wax. Correct. Just, just in case. They yeah, if you're, yeah, if you're doing suede and you have a bar of wax, heat up the wax, not the boot. It's much easier. All right. All right. And you're just going to heat that up until the wax starts to shimmer. And there it goes. It's like a big block of tallow. Yeah. All right. And then you are simply gonna start working that wax oh, all yeah. into it. So yeah, you can see it, it's already working. Now don't worry about it when it starts clumping up like this. We'll go back afterwards and work all of that in and I'll show you how to do that. Do you have a second bar? Should I be doing this at the same time? Yeah, if you faster. want to. Yeah, absolutely, let's do it. There you go. Now just hold on there and there you go and just work it all in. Do you have to keep on heating up the wax? Yeah, so you know, it's only gonna heat up that top layer and once you rub that layer in, you're right back down to the hard part and you'll have to heat up. So this is a time consuming process. It's not anything you're gonna be done in 10 minutes, especially like I said, if your boots have never been waxed before. Remind me why I wouldn't want to just get like a tin of hot wax so it's all melted and I don't have to keep doing this. <laughs> so yeah, so there's different, as we mentioned a few moments ago, I mean, you can also get the tins of it, which also are, you know, more liquid. This is more solid. And um, from what I understand, the tins of wax also have more ingredients and conditioners in there that help to penetrate the leather 
from both sides. So the thing about the wax is it's gonna wax this top layer of suede. If you have something like a jacket or whatever, where you or shoes that you wanna have the under part of the leather as well as the top wax, it's gonna to help to do both sides a little bit better than just this. Okay. Okay, so what we can do, because I know this is gonna take a while, so let me show you what we can do now with this top part. Now what I like to do is I take this little wooden piece here, and I think Otter, you know, Otter Wax sells these with their, their wax, and you use this to just rub and work that wax into the boot. And honestly, it makes a big difference because without <laughs> this little tool, it's a, it's a pain trying to work the wax in. And it also helps you to get down into the, uh, the crevice part right by the welt. What do you reckon? Now, like I said, yeah, I mean, when you, when you wax your suede, it's definitely going to give it a new look. You know, it's, you can say goodbye to the old look, you know, <laughs> that you originally had. But, you know, again, for those guys that want something that is super hardy and, you know, you don't have to worry about water or anything else, uh, it does a good job of protecting the leather. Waiting, waiting. <laughs> you want to work on that one? At least too waxy? <clears throat> Uh, you put a lot of wax in there, but we'll see what we can do. Well, that way it's easier to yeah. spread it around. Yeah, go ahead and, and um, start doing that Like putting more wax on? Yeah, all, right. all over that one. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. So this isn't it. we wanted to pause halfway through the waxing here to show just how useful this wax smoothing tool is. This is the official name on uh, Auto Wax's <laughs> okay. website. Um, yeah, recently uh, Trenton tried to uh, wax a jacket here and says this saved him, what, days, weeks? Yeah, so <laughs> as you can see, you know, we both put wax on at the same time. I was using the smoothing tool. He was just putting it on there and trying to, you know, get it in there and it makes a big difference. So. Yeah. If you're going to do this, it definitely helps to have something like that, a spoon, I don't know, anything that can help get that wax pushed in there and in the excess removed off. Yeah, it so. helps to even it out as well. Now to be fair, <laughs> if you don't have any sort of tool and it winds up looking like this, you're still gonna heat it up while yeah. it's on the leather, so it's not gonna look this ridiculous, but nonetheless, it is gonna be like a bit more even and uniform yeah. uh, if you- Yeah, you definitely don't tools. have to have it, because, and again, even though we use the tool, I'm still going to go back behind this with the heat uh, you can use a hair dryer and it will melt that into the to leather even more. But having something like this helps to remove the excess because now, you know, if we don't use the tool, you're trying to melt that and it's just going to start running everywhere. So, uh, you know, I mean, having something, whatever it may be, that, that's smooth to help take that excess off is going to save you a lot of time. Let's keep going. All right, let's heat these up and uh, finish them up. Well, we got to do this one too, don't we? Yep. All right. Like 
And I know some of you guys may be thinking, why would you put heat on your leather? This is a very low temperature, as you can tell, you know. Don't, yeah, don't put extreme heat on your leather. This is just enough to, you know, start getting that to melt. I think mine is still too waxy. <laughs> you got a ton on there. Oh. You want to switch? Boy, look how nice that is. Well, this is all just going to vanish once I start heating it up and it'll just kind of come off, right? Yeah, again, it's just, you know, put a little bit on there, trying, you know, getting off the excess, and then, yeah, we'll, we can always melt in the, uh, the remnants. You think this is ready for the heat gun? I think so. Let me get a little bit off of there. <laughs> You're like that. What do you think? <laughs> Let me work on it for another hour and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Like there's a subsection of my channel that just really likes it when I wind up visiting cobblers and boot makers and I try to do it and I just show how completely unskilled I am. <laughs> it's like every time, whether it's like in Guatemala or here or with Beto, it's always just me making a complete idiot out we're of just, myself. We're just kind of sit back and watch it. It's like, oh, okay, let me have it back. <laughs> <laughs> I consider it my way of showing how difficult your job is. You know, it's, yeah, it's a yeah. form of respect <laughs> being, being so bad at it. Well, it's like anything, you know, you got to you'll learn and you're not going to hurt it. You know, I think that's the thing, you know, so many people are like, oh my God, I'm going to destroy my shoe. I mean, you really have to do a, a good job on leather to, to ruin it. I think it was on the, the, the resole video here when I come and said, uh, I like Nick, but he handles those tools like a female. <laughs> <laughs> was that our channel? I think it was on yours. No, I mean, I think it was the video that I did with you. Oh, uh, okay. The resole. Okay, so that, that was about it. Um, like I said, guys, if you're gonna use a you know, heat gun or a hair dryer, make sure, again, you're using on a very low setting. As you could see, I mean, I had my hand under it, so it's very low setting. You don't want to ruin the leather by scorching it, but the heat does help to melt it in to the leather, and it definitely speeds up the process. You ruined my boots. You, uh, you said you wanted them like this. <laughs> <laughs> It is worth emphasizing, your boots will be darker yeah. once they are covered in wax. They yeah. will not be fuzzy like they were before yeah. you waxed Hands them. down, guys, if you put anything onto your suede, your leather, whatever, and uh, you know it's not specifically made not to darken the leather, then it's generally going to darken your leather. Um, but it's almost a, it's almost a, uh, a trade-off. You know, unless you're using a weatherproofing spray, you know, something like this is going to be much more hardy. I mean, you could, you know, if you put a couple more layers of this on, you could walk through a creek and, and you're good to go. Um, but again, you know, it just comes with the territory. And, you know, you could keep going further than this. You know, we wound up putting two coats of wax onto this. Um, but, you know, if you have shoes or boots and you want a higher shine, uh, the more layers of wax you put on, the glossier that, that leather's going to look. So it's really up to you as to how many coats you want to put on to your, your leather. Yeah, and it's important to emphasize as well that uh, the idea behind wax, or maybe not the idea behind it, but like an, a big element of it is that the boots will, their appearance will change with time as well, yeah. right? So once I've been walking around in these for a week, they'll look a little bit different. They'll yeah. be a bit more character, more uh, sort of undulations of color tones, that yep. kind of thing. After two weeks, three weeks, three months, six months, yeah. uh, the, the appearance changes a bit over time. And there's going to come a time where you're going to have to reapply the wax. So, you know, it's not like this is permanent per se. Yeah. Uh, it is, but it, the, like you said, the colors are going to change. The wax is going to start wearing off. You're going to have to go back back and rewax. So yeah, but just... the good thing is that people <laughs> tend to find the ways the color changes uh, with every passing day yeah. and week to be very attractive and desirable. Yeah. So yep. uh, yeah, these are 
These are a little bit raw right now. Like, there's still like a little bit of lighter bits as well from some of the wax. But um, yeah, with time, it's all gonna darken and it's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna wear these for a, a little while and let me know when this video goes up. And I'll, I'll yeah, see, I'll yeah, I would love, yeah, yeah, I would love to see some more pictures after you've worn them and, and uh, let folks see all it. All right, here's what they look like. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Me in the future. So there you go. I did it. But all right, guys. So again, you guys have been asking, how do I care for my wax suede shoes? Uh, well, there you go. That that's how you can do it. Again, there's other products you can put on there as well. Uh, but we have found that Otter Wax is one of the better ones and it's one of the reasons that we also carry it. It's just a, it's a good product. Uh, one question, <laughs> if people are going to be watching this because they want to know how to care for their already waxed shoes mm -hmm. and uh, the wax is wearing away a little bit, yep. would they need to clean it before re-waxing it but it's already mostly yeah. waxed? Like, how so, does that work? Yeah, so you can always clean off your suede or your wax suede. Again, you'll just care for it the same way you will with suede. So you would use a suede shampoo, you know, wa wash over it, let it dry, then again, apply the wax, it's that easy. And you'll lose some of the wax during that cleaning process. Yeah, and you may lose some of it, but you know what, you're, you getting ready, you're about to go back and reapply it anyway. All right, so cool. it's pretty, it's that simple. All right, good but, tips, I've got my matching orders. Yeah, so all right guys, again, we appreciate you watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Uh, we'll try to get to as many of those as we can, or feel free to email us. Um, and again, check us out at potterandsons.com. Thanks again for joining, I appreciate it, and uh, hopefully we can do some more videos in the future. Yeah, thanks for so, the All right, guys. Again, check out Nick's website, uh, stridewise.com, as well as his YouTube uh, channel, Stridewise. So until next time, y'all have a good one. Thanks.